Okay. I am about to attempt to throw a plate with a PVC pipe. <laughs> Jeff's been doing it all morning and he says it's fantastic. <laughs> Let's see what it comes up. You and me, baby. You and me, baby. So with the final eight inch plate, you smash to 11 and then um, cut off half an inch to 10 and a half, bring up the rim and you'll get a 10 inch thrown plate that will shrink to an eight inch finished plate. Now, the cool thing about this, they tell me, is that you don't have to really center the clay. And that doesn't seem to make very much difference. Anymore, so. Having it centered or not centered didn't make much difference. No. Since that last one was horribly uncentered and it worked up to go. So you want to start out... Um, with... Uh, nice hockey puck tuna fish can kind of a thing and you can see this is not centered at all okay now if it doesn't make any any difference if it's centered or not then that's what we're going with now here is what he said was the kicker um obviously you gotta have some water, right? So well, some people don't do water. So when you watch the YouTube videos about this, you'll see people using wooden rolling pins, and wooden rolling pins is not gonna slip with water. But a PVC pipe should slip with water just fine. So water was my friend. Water was Tim's friend, and. We want water on this side and we want water on this side. So I'm going to hold my sponges. Right? That's the way we do it. And then push down and squeeze the water. And you're going to want to go ahead and refill your brushes. And then refill the water. Right? Yeah. Refill your brushes. I mean, you're Sponges. Sponges. Not brushes. Sponges. Water on the surface here. That's, that's really cool. Oh, my wheel says, hey! Wow, there's a lot of slip on that bat. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, and not much clay came out from to the... You're nowhere cool. close to 11. Do what? You're nowhere close to 11. Oh, how far is 11? Is it out past the bat pen? Because yes. I'm not out past the bat pen. The teacher has become the student. Okay, I'll pass the bat pen. I would lay up in brushes. 
a lot and hold them towards, I mean, sponges and hold them towards the middle so it gets the... Oh! Oh yeah, because centrifugal force is going to throw that water out. That's what that Okay! Look at that! It's flat and it's not overworked! That's very cool! What am I at? Just a touch more. Okay, and you said hold it more towards the center? Yeah, like this? The sponge is towards the center. If the, your sponges aren't even hard to load up with water. You're right, they're not. That's probably it. Because it's, it's just slick. So if I measure at 10 and a half, right? And take off half an inch all the way around. Then, oh, there's a lot of water under there. Well, that's because of that skirt. Yeah. Then I should end up with a 10 inch. Yeah, see, I'm less than 10 inches. I'm nine and three quarter. Now, stop before you raise your thing. Okay. You want to flip your flat. At least I did. Finish the inside of the plate. Mm -hmm. Well, good, yeah. Stay on top of it. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally. I was able to do four plates in the amount of time it would have taken me to do two. Maybe if I was successful at the two. Okay, so what have I got here? The way that I've thrown in the past. It's nine and a four. Okay. No, I didn't feel wonky at all. My last one didn't feel that way. There was only one that really felt. There's some grotty down there, noticeable. but it doesn't feel wonky. I wouldn't call it wonky at all. All right, let's see how far we need to go out with this puppy. We need to go out about a half an inch. And that was too much, I can guarantee it. Oh no, that was exactly right. That's 10 inches right there. Okay, so then now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how well this is working! Fine. You can smooth that out. Okay. 
thing was in that other one? I just had it. I just had it right here. I just put it somewhere. So I've been using this one. This. I'm working my way that way and then flip it over. Okay, like this. No, no, the other way. I use the other way. Uh, I don't understand what the difference is. Because I can control that side. The sharp side leaves me well. Oh. I don't like lines. I don't like lines. I get it. Lines don't really bother me. Because lines in my work tend to go away when I glaze it. Oh, that's a nice looking plate! That's a good looking plate! And I was gonna think that I use a lot more water doing it this way, but I don't think that a lot of the water is getting trapped in the clay like when I work yeah. with it. I bet I use as much or more water, I'm just putting it into the clay. Yeah. Yeah, because this is not overworked. Oh, work here. All the things at, <laughs> at this point in place, there's usually not an edge to work. <laughs> if there's still an edge at this point in one of my plates, uh, that usually means that um, uh, that usually means that if I touch it, it uh, goes away completely. Look! Oh my goodness, that looks great. Oh man, that looks good. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Didn't have to wedge up and down a whole bunch. Didn't have to mash with your hand and muscles get yeah. dead tired. Yeah, huge, huge benefit for the wrists. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Okay, big takeaways. I wish I hadn't bought GI Party for <laughs> This is a lot easier than than that. Yeah. It was a lot easier than that. Yeah. And that was easier than trying to yeah. actually throw a plate. I can, the other thing too is there's a lot more options here with doing my rims because the, the clay's not overworked. Because the clay, yeah. You can yeah. control the thickness of the bottom a lot better. Yeah. Like 
three pounds was actually a touch much. You felt like it was too much. For this. One of the things you gotta be careful of is as you push down, it, if you rewind the video, you'll see it. There's gonna be a lip. And as you push down, it's gonna fold that lip down and there's gonna be air in here and slip on the edge, which is why you use more clay than you want because you're gonna cut that part off at the end. Yeah. Because as you keep mashing, it just keeps pushing that further out. Yeah. And so it's real important that you cut off that part because if one of the people cut it off and sh flipped it and showed us There's how a much old. of a fold there is in that out part, uh, that outside part. It's important to cut a skirt. Yeah. Off. Yeah. Well, and when I cut that off, it was clear that I was in a tunnel of slip and error. Yeah. It was very clear. Yeah, but it's really not hard. Well, to and cut I didn't. Stuff and off. I didn't have to cut off that. I mean, much. it just yeah. cuts right off. Yeah. It's so, a, it's a lot of clay that you're you're gonna recycle. Yeah, but they do, they feel so solid. They do, and they're thicker than I normally get it with my hands. I've ever been able to throw it. Yeah, when you get the width when you're throwing, you liquefied so much clay by the time that you get the way you've liquefied a half a pound of clay just by putting the amount of water you need on it so yeah cool stuff uh i'm gonna keep going and if i learn anything else i'll let you know but subscribe stay tuned to the channel so that you can see uh, how these trim up and how, um, you know, whether or not we get any cracks and that sort of thing, because that's coming up. Thanks for coming. Metal River Death got Herbert. Okay.